And then we have the part three uh, where I will um, where I will dig into the shutter assembly and see how it looks. Uh, I also make a lot of marks in here, which I, uh, is very good to do before you take it apart. Uh, that's extremely important. Now, one of the things uh, which I uh, I think it's it's very important is if you haven't done it it's good to set a mark here as I uh, point out in the beginning one of the pin here and here it uh, has to sit correct so if we fire the shutter it's not advanced I can just so and I also did it, did the same here on um, the other side of the the advanced roll. I think it's called. I don't know for the small gaps in the in the film. And uh, it's important because if they sit in a wrong place, the film will be well maybe it will be advanced in. A, uh, in the wrong way. I don't know if those uh, two pins here could sit over here if you advance. I don't know. It's just good to have marks. So, um, and I also set marks here, as you m maybe remember, on this uh, big screw down here on the advanced uh, arm itself here uh, and it's really good to have those in case you put in things wrong and now I can now I have I have advanced the camera and I can fire it uh, as we can see what's going on in here um, it goes pretty fast way too fast so we can see it but I can hopefully slower it down um, it will probably go fast enough so that's and if I do that it will go the other half so if I uh, can press down here and hopefully it will it will probably advance under the yeah goes like this a full turn here and back to normal so it is um, so let's take out the shutter assembly I mean the with the blades and all that stuff and before taking it out again it's good to have marks which I did also down here on the bottom set marks here just so I know where it should sit and I also do another thing which I think it's a good thing to have in mind this part here uh, I took it off because this uh, it will also do that the roller here sits in the correct position so I simply I mean I couldn't make a scratch on this because it's hardened steel but uh, what I did anyway took out this and um, so out this one here and I took out the the gear here and underneath that I set a mark down here you might see so when I assemble it or if I would uh, take out the 
the um, the roller here well uh, I know the exact position of where it should sit just to have that in mind maybe it's not important to you maybe it is so I can just put this on again And in that way it should be should be able to put it on. Yeah. So something like that will be all fine. So and then I can just put this on again, it's not important. And the screw goes in here. That's the thread. So now I can um, now I can take out the the whole assembly here, and it's done by um, yeah. Maybe I should take off the film door. It's quite annoying. It's just to to actually not hit the the. Uh, the metal curtain here so maybe I should just let it stay on it's a pin that goes all the way through and you could just press it out very easy but the shutter assembly is held by in place by four screws one there 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 and one on the back which is here uh, this is not part of it this screw. So I will begin take out this. <laughs> take it out. It's a little bigger and longer than the other one. And the holes are longer so it's also a good thing which I did before, uh, earlier when I was in it, make some scratch up here and here. And I also did some uh, the other way, uh, so I know the exact position of that. So we can take that out. Um, Not many of the screws are actually magnetic. It's all brass. You see the difference? The one on the back is bigger than the other. Just pop it out here. And then put a finger on here so you know where it stays. And take good care of the curtain here on the back so you will not if by accident your screwdriver will get off the screw head you will or you could damage the curtain now since uh, we are ready to take that out uh, we can just do it the shutter is released so in a way we can just take it out so 
So here we are. Now this is the shutter assembly. <laughs> Interesting stuff. This is the disc that acts as a curtain. And um, yeah, this is how it looks. So um, is it possible to advance it? It's too hard to actually get into move. Mm-hmm. Not really easy. It's not possible to. Now, so this is how you come into it. Um, as I see it. And since we have this out, uh, see it's extremely thin so I will uh, continue with the advance mechanism which is also good to know how it should be taken apart the um, The counter here, uh, which I figured out, okay, how should I get that off? Um, so, this pin here is where it will release the, the counter to go back all the way from, so. And to get into that, we need to take out the actual uh, plate here with the numbers on. And it is unscrewed counterclockwise. I mean, clockwise, of course, not counterclockwise. It's unscrewed clockwise, as you see here. And there is a, um, as I remember, uh, yeah, we can just take it out. Before doing that, we need to take out the spring here. You see the spring down here. So this spring here, I will um, park it on the actual counter here. I mean on the back here so I'll just open the, the door film door so I can move the this one here and in that way have it like this so now I can take off the the spring here maybe it's better with the dented tweezer I think because it's more safe so I can grab it and unhook it and doing this and put it into place here hopefully it will stay there uh, in that way the 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 wheel is loose in a way so now I can uh, fully unscrew this clockwise and you have to hold on to that part here so it will not stay um, so we take that off and that out here and in that way I can take off the the um, this here it will stay there that's fine 
And remember, there is a spacer here. So this spacer here is also, if we can get that out, so there. And in that way, I can, um, well, how do I get that out? Hmm. Well, I thought when I look under the camera, there is a kind of a screw head. Under, if you take that out, there should be a screw head in the bottom of the something up here. So I thought, well, I could just unscrew it, but no. It's not really a screw. Um, this wheel here, this gear wheel here is um, is actually uh, um, a gear that is screwed on to this uh, axle here. But I would like to take off the the advance mechanism here, and since I have some good marks here. I know the exact position before I take it apart. So I can unhook this spring and it will go all the way one turn to the other side here. Then I can take it off. Well, I make some color here uh, just to f it will make it easier when you assemble it. So you know, you see there is a lower spring end and the upper spring end is here. Just so we know that. And uh, then I can uh, unscrew this. And it should be with a bigger screwdriver. So we go all the way and it <laughs> No. It's uh, how did I do that? It's unscrewed counterclockwise by holding this here. And there are some parts are under this which will go through. It's also a long spring. See? Another this spring here. There is a spacer something look like. Let's say lift up. There is a, um, I don't know the name of it, but this part here needs to be lifted up. See, there's a spacer underneath. This also have to sit, I'm, I mean, I make marks on it. This is a thin spacer. And then I can take out the lever here. Underneath, I also set marks. See, this uh, is there is a little part here, and this I can also take out, of course. So, And then the gear wheel itself. No, there is another spacer underneath here. And where's my tool here? So 
something like that. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. And underneath, there is the gear wheel itself, which also can be lifted out. So it is. And I also make a, uh, sorry for that. I make a little scratch here because on the pin itself I also set a mark here just so I know it sits in that way. Maybe it's not necessary. So and here we are looking into the actual advanced um, counter gear thingy and there is two screws that hold that in place this one and this one and before doing any disassemble disassemble process set a mark here around it's good because then you will know it's it's correct and also here and here So I can take that out. So we can see how it looks. And it's uh, maybe it's easier to have the film door open because then the spring here is uh, well it's it will actually flip out uh, if when I take out the whole assembly here, the this part here will just flew back here. Just so we know that. So unscrew this. Get the this tiny screw here. And then I can lift up the whole thing by doing this and see what happened this will come out here and in that way we have the advance uh, with the plastic roller underneath here you can see here mm. well there's no need for taking out the uh, this part here because um, well, I've just put things back in again. But this is how it looks. See how the spring is sitting. If it doesn't work, it has to see if I, s I have to hook up on the spring here. This here and flip it in. This, the other end of the spring here will um, go on to the side here oh go on to the side here which it will rest on so uh, it's not it's not that hard if we can do this so if I press in this It will, uh, oh, it didn't go into place here. <laughs> so, and if you want, of course, you can take off this part here and it will, um, you can unscrew this gear wheel here by unscrew it here, I think. I don't know exactly if it's possible. it's it's too tight now anyway it will be possible so um, 
I will just uh, go into assemble the camera again. But that will be part four. So that's all for now. Um, so that's it.